Hello and everyone, welcome here at Stoibli. More than six years of experience in plastics and rubber. We are at CARE 2016 and we are presenting an industry 4.0 solution on the one hand, a 60 second mold change, so a complete installation. And on the other hand, we present here the Stoibli's approach to build industry 4.0 step by step into the business of the customers. So a slow approach, for example, the customer can uh, simply go for this module or for another module and start with this module in his business. For example, this is also a component of this industry 4.0 installation, but it's a manual multi-coupling. So it's a very simple, very easy investment and it already has a great production increase or production efficiency increase for the customer's business. Instead of disconnecting all the services, connection for connection, the conventional approach, you can disconnect all the connections with a simple movement of the hand. There you go, and the customer has already disconnected all the connections for electricity and data. The same with the cooling for the water, with a simple movement of the hand, he has disconnected everything. This means for the business, no longer any maxima of connections, and this also means no longer any loss of value production time for fault diagnosis and uh, scrap parts in production. So no longer any downtime, but actually productivity or process, process reliability. So now we see the Stoibi mold changing vehicle, how it approaches the preheating station. On the station, we have the preheated mold which will be now loaded onto the mold changing vehicle. Whilst being loaded onto the vehicle, it's passing by an RFID sensor and also a proximity sensor. The RFID sensor detects which type of mold is on the vehicle and is transmitting, communicating to the injection molding machine that this type of mold is approaching and therefore the machine can already load the mold parameters. For example, later for the clamping system. Also later, these data will be communicated to the Stoibi robot, the TX2, which is on this installation, uh, that Atkin later mount the right gripper. So now the mold is being transported to the injection molding machine and this you can see is happening without a crane because there are many times problem with a conventional approach with a crane the mold is dangling swing around on the crane there's a safety risk it uh, takes quite some time up to 15 or 30 minutes from time to time and also often workers have to deal with hot pleated molds all these safety risks are no longer an issue with the Stoipi approach because everything is automatic. No one needs to climb around, to climb onto the machine, to change from one side to the other side. No worker involved, no safety risk. All this is going to take to, to last only 60 seconds, the whole mold change, so truly a single minute exchange of dye. And as you can see, now we are going to work with the Stoibli multi-couplings so before we saw the manual multi-couplings, now we see the Stoibli automatic multi-couplings. And here you can connect and disconnect 40, 50, 60 connections at once. So lasting around only three seconds. And that's it, now production could start. Now we move to the other side. Before we are moving from, uh, we are filming from the other side, and now we moved around of the installation, filming from this side, taking a closer look at the TX2 robot from Stoibli. As said before, this robot combines the strengths of an industrial robot, so speed, precision, and handling power, with the strengths of a collaborative robot, the safety functions. And now we take a closer look at the safety functions. Stoibli works here with three zones what we call the green zone is the green where the zone where the operator can move around freely and the operator is up the robot is operating at normal production speed 
as you can see. What we call the yellow zone is when the operator moves very close to the production robot, there's a safety risk, and that means the robot slows down. And then we went, then enter the yellow, the red safety zone, then the production stops completely. Let's take a look how this works. You can see full production speed. And now, as soon as I move in, the robot slows down, as you can see. Because now I'm in the yellow zone and there's already safety risk. And if I now step into the red zone, so I get too close, let's take see here, the robot stops. This enables for the manufacturer to work without enclosure, as you can see here. So it saves on investment on enclosure and it also gains more space for production. Less enclosure, more space for production. At the same time, if you go for quality tests, you also cut down production downtime because the robot works. Now the operator moves in for quality tests. You can do the quality test, check everything, and it can move out again. And production continues. So no longer any big enclosure, any locking doors, any pressing of a button. So production downtime reduced drastically. All this is possible and enabled of a combination of the TX2 series from Steubli with the CS9 controller.